If you want to see more of my whole journey on a motorbike in Africa, please share and subscribe for the next episodes. It's a lot of editing work and I need at least a thousand subscribers so I can release a new video every week. If you have any questions about my trip, please leave a comment below. When crossing the border the first thing that catches your attention is the good state of the roads and how empty they are, just for ourselves. In rural areas we also felt that people look at you with more strangeness than in previous places. Rwanda is a particular country in East Africa, because it is the only French-speaking country in the region, where in addition to driving on the right, it has suffered one of the most horrible genocides of the 20th century. Here we stopped on the way, to visit a local market and the next thing that caught our attention is that unlike other countries where everyone wants to pose for you, strangely here people didn't want to be filmed or photographed. Rwanda is the phoenix rising from the ashes, the little Switzerland of Africa, where drivers respect traffic signs. There are modern roads under construction, no garbage in the streets and where plastic bags have been banned. A good example for the countries of the region and the whole world. In Kigali, out of curiosity, we decided to go and see a shopping mall and to our surprise we found that it was an almost ghostly building, where we were the only clients wandering around. We are in the town of Entarema, about 30 kilometers south of the capital Kigali. This is one of the many memorials spread throughout the geography of Rwanda, as the massacres occurred throughout the country. In the kitchen originally made of adobe, the walls and floor were covered with banana leaves impregnated with gasoline and set on fire with dozens of people locked in. The walls were then brought down, to bury all the burnt bodies inside. In this small school where the children came to take classes on Sundays, all of them of different ages were gathered together. On the wall you can see a stain where children were swung by their legs, and their skulls smashed into the walls. The killers claimed that they did not want to waste their bullets. The main site where the massacres took place was the church. People came from different villages in the area to refuge in this church because they thought they would find protection here, since it is a sacred place that represents authority. What they did not know is that the genocide had been organized quite precisely by the government with the collaboration of the Catholic Church. The strategy used was to attract everyone to come for shelter to specific areas, such as this church for example. After five to seven days when a sizable group of people had been gathered, the central government commanded the army and different militias to come to these points where people seek refuge to directly slaughter them. Hospitals and stadiums were also used as meeting points where people were taken there fooled, thinking that they were going to find protection when in the end what they found was death. 
the soldiers used machine guns from the exterior to shoot everyone inside and then finished off those who were still alive with machetes, spears and all kinds of objects. Many people also fled to the countryside trying to escape and hide in the nearby swamps, but militias were also sent there and for a month different patrols were terminating all the people found. The work of identifying the clothes is still in progress and here are stored some of those that are still to be classified. This clothes also served to identify many of the dead bodies. The final part is that of the mass graves where all the bodies found after the massacres were placed. It is not known the exact number of people that were in this grave since only limbs and partial remains of different bodies have been found, and placed in the last two years in these coffins. Only 1,500 victims have been identified out of the more than 5,000 estimated to have died at this site in mid-April 1994.